So what got you into building R2s? Was it your love for Star Wars, love for robotics? My love for Star Wars definitely was what got me into R2. I had no robotics background at all. I was just a geek in a Jedi costume who saw R2 go by at WonderCon and it was like the heavenly light shining upon me and I knew that I had to find out how in the world these came to be, so. What's up everybody, welcome to Maker Faire 2011. I am Dan, here with Steve Simmons right now of the R2-D2 Robot Builders Club. Steve, thanks for being here. So explain to me, what is the R2-D2 Builders Club? The R2 Builders Club is a worldwide network of R2 geeks, basically. The guys who know every inch and detail of R2, that uh, put everything that they can online to collaborate with each other to build these awesome droids. And actually that is true, we do have droids right here. And how much technical knowledge did you need to learn to build this R2? Not much at all. In fact, I knew what a soldering iron was, but I wasn't even sure absolutely how they worked, you know, that I was doing things right. So I went on Instructables and learned how to solder properly, uh, and pretty much learned everything from tutorials online. What about the sounds? R2 definitely seems to have a range of emotions, unlike a lot of other robots. You uh, pretty well versed in R2 talk? Yeah, R2 talk is, is awesome because his vocals were completely made to sound like electric baby cooing, which is the, the first robot in sci-fi to have any kind of personality like that. And so yeah, he's, he's a lovable fellow because of his, his vocals. You think R2 would be a good wingman to have if you're going out on a date? Oh man, R2 can get you in places for free. And as one of my friends says, if you had R2 and a puppy, you could have any woman in the world. This is absolutely the case. Do we have any comment from R2? <laughs> Very cool. Steve Simmons, thank you so much thank for you. being here, and thank Not you to R2.